Hey guys, today I'm going to be painting a speed painting of uh, several environments. Let's get right into it. So I start off with a whole bunch of silhouettes. And basically what I'm trying to do is whatever I have in my mind, I'm just trying to put that down on the, on the canvas as quickly as possible. And I, I, have, I usually have some kind of scene in mind. So here I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, castles on on or near mountains and so I'm not only doing castles I'm mixing it up with some other kinds of environments that are a little bit that have you know more like spiky bits and that seem more evil for example right generally when you're painting castles on mountains you're gonna be doing a uh, or at least that's what I'm thinking of is doing a sort of a sunny a sunny environment where uh, you have the blue sky clouds the sun shining and you have uh, mountains snow-capped mountains and then you have castles in front of them uh, and then when I'm doing I'm thinking of doing spiky scenes I'm thinking like more like dark sort of you know uh, sort of dangerous environments and uh, so here I started mixing them up so I'm doing a little bit spiky a little bit dark and a little bit you've got the castles uh, in the background there uh, you have you know here again it's one of those dark environments where it's like all the environments all like spiky and you have you know the mountain the castle so I'm combining what I did in the previous two I'm now combining them uh, where I have the castle and I have a dark environment and uh, you know and here is just a, a castle with the marketplace so these are these these last three were kind of uh, close up of the of particular areas of a castle for example like the marketplace or the drawbridge or for example the the side of it so I, I really like this one it just it turned out it looked pretty interesting and it turned out I think pretty cool in the end and uh, so I take the silhouette I enlarge it and uh, I just start defining the uh, the areas the the environments in that silhouette and I start painting p pretty quickly here because I'm looking for uh, big shapes I don't want to get stuck into simply you know sketching like noodling on that silhouette I mean this is a speed painting right Th these paintings were done really quickly uh, so I don't want to get stuck on any particular area just noodling away I don't want to do that right there's a time and place for noodling but this is not it this I'm trying to get the big shapes in I'm trying to define the entire environment all at once right so I don't want to be noodling I want to use big brush strokes so after I do a little bit of sketching I immediately start painting immediately start defining some of the big areas and you'll see me actually work on this environment quite a bit like I've right now I have a slight idea of, of where I want to take this painting uh, however as I'm working on it I'm actually making the painting so what you're seeing here is just spontaneous uh, creation it's just happening spontaneously I haven't pre-planned this this is just something that's happening right on the canvas so as I'm painting as I'm putting down brush strokes other brush strokes other ideas are coming from those previous brush strokes and as they come I put them down so it's very spontaneous it's it, it you know if you haven't practiced speed painting I urge you to do it because it's a very important and a very good exercise for working those muscles that are for those spontaneous creations uh, creating things spontaneously has uh, requires certain uh, skill and practice so and it's a good exercise because an artist should be able to create spontaneously uh, in my opinion it's also good you know to be able to recognize how certain brush strokes certain things that you've put on the canvas how they can lead into other sort of you know more definition or more kind of some kind of uh, new thing that you previously had wouldn't have have thought of right suddenly you make a brush stroke and all of a sudden you see that that brush stroke could then become this other thing right and you see here the light in the back I make those into these these round shapes I don't know what these round shapes are right now I'm thinking there's some kind of mushrooms right like some kind of hallucinogenic mushrooms around this sort of spiky cave thing so in the back when I created those mushrooms there the the light the light the bright mushrooms I hadn't thought of that before and because they were shaped in, uh, in such a way uh, that I thought maybe they could be mushroom shapes and I made them bright and I made them glow and then when I made them glow I thought what if the other mushrooms also glowed 
and then as I thought about this, as I thought about this uh, environment, I thought maybe these, what if these are not mushrooms? What if these are eggs and they have embryos inside of them, right? And so as I'm doing this, it's as I'm working on the painting, I'm getting more ideas and I'm just developing those right ideas right as I paint, you know, right as I work the painting. I'm having ideas and I'm putting them down immediately. Whatever it is, whatever the idea is, right? If the painting doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But uh, it should never come to that, right? Usually your painting will, will have some quality that worked. And you can always uh, further take it further and develop it and create a painting out of it. So right now, I'm pretty much, I've got the scene down. I know exactly what I'm doing. These are eggs. And there's a spiky uh, cave-like thingy structure. It's a living, this entire area is a living being, right? It's a living thing. And uh, everything here is alive, including that spiky cave thing. And so I know exactly what's going on now. Those are embryos and glowy and glowy eggshell type things, right? And and if this was an environment in a game, the eggs would be lighting the scene, right? It would be completely dark, and the eggs would light it all up, right? So at this point, it's just it just requires more definition. So. Um, you know, I mean, this by itself, I think, is a good enough concept, but you can just keep defining it as much as you want. You can add uh, textures to it, more, you know, definition, more painting on top of it to really, uh, you know, really take it to a, f like, a proper, highly rendered finish, or you could leave it as is. I do just a little bit more because I still want to keep this as a speed painting, right? Speed painting shouldn't take more than, I would say, shouldn't take more than two hours, right? On average, you want to do two hours. This I think was done in uh, less time. So you know at this point it's just defining it. It's just making sure that everything kind of reads uh, properly. That You know that's ground and you know that's something else. You know you know that uh, reads like an egg or that reads like an embryo. And, uh, and I just put in some humans there for scale. Uh, those two guys that are entering the uh, uh, the cave like s structure. And that tells you how big everything else is. And that's the only reason why they're there, is to give the is to give scale to everything else, so you can see how big everything else is. All right, guys. So that's it for this episode. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you like this episode. Uh, give me some feedback and stick around for more episodes. I got a lot more coming up, and I'll see you guys later.